Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm her Aries, my name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm gonna to be doing your love reading for the month of November, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I pulled some cards from four different decks to get the overall energy of love for the Aries Collective. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind, okay? So this is a mixture of decks. I don't forget what they were called, but we have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. We have tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. And we have honesty and it came in reverse. I can't always accept the truth. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself, okay? I also for the overall energy, we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. We also have strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. And we have, I want you all to myself. This is a direct message to you from your person's energy. Important message your person wants you to know. All right, Aries. So, so far with the gist that I'm getting here is that there may have been a situation that started in the past, okay? Um, I'm getting two scenarios. One is that there is a situation here where someone has fa fall, fa fallen, fa fell for... Um, another person and it may have started out as a strictly sexual type of thing and then feelings got involved or vice versa at first it was supposed to be something that was real and then it became or somebody wants strictly sex but the first one that I'm getting is that you know there was a situation that it started out strictly sexually sexually and someone the person may the person who may have inquired for it to be strictly sexual um is the one that may have got the stronger feelings okay okay and then someone's not being honest about it all right there could have been an agreement between two people that it was going to remain strictly sexual okay and someone didn't hold up their end of the bargain meaning that somebody caught feelings very strong feelings okay um yeah, and they may be being, somebody may be being dishonest about how they truly feel, hiding their feelings, right? Um, and I'm also getting that someone may be being irresponsible when it comes to caring for another person's feelings and emotions, if, okay? That makes sense. I feel that the truth is going to come out or somebody is going to express how they truly feel this month, but... I don't know, I feel like somebody here has been putting up with some kind of shitty behavior from a person, okay? Because they may have been hiding their feelings. They may have been trying to continue to pretend like they didn't feel a certain way for someone, right? Like this is just sex, this is not going to the next level, da da da. But truly and deeply, they have really deep feelings for someone. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here and see what we have. Aries. Somebody wants wants you all to themselves. Okay. All right. Let's take a look here. From the romance angel. Mm -hmm. We have calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. We have keep an open mind. Okay. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And soulmate, yeah, okay. So Aries, this is what I'm getting. If this was a situation where you didn't think it was ever going to turn into anything more than a intimate connection, like, cause what I'm getting is that somebody started something that was supposed to be strictly sexual with someone who they didn't think it would go anywhere further because it may not have been your type or you could have, I don't want to say dating down. Maybe it's for your situation where you felt like you were dating down. So you never thought you would going to have a connection with the person or it was just somebody 
who you didn't expect to gel with, you didn't expect to mesh with, right? You could have been completely different backgrounds, um, just opposites attract type of situation. And then you feel like, wow, I don't know if it was because the sex was blinding or what, but somebody feels like they found their soulmate, okay? You got soulmate calling in your soulmate, soulmate, um, and keep an open mind. At the bottom of the deck, you have true love and chemistry. So whew, somebody is like... I don't know, Aries, maybe you met someone and it was just supposed to be a strictly sexual thing and you like blew their mind. And now they're like, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> okay. Now this person may be giving you that type of energy, but they're not being honest, right, about their true feelings. So it's kind of confusing to you. Ooh, child. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. Let's pull some from the Island Time bonus. Here we pull two. And then we'll get to the tarot. We'll save the hidden oracle for the end. Let's see. Yeah. What is going on with Aries? I'm also getting to, let's just say you haven't met this person. We've met this person, right? But you haven't been intimate with this person. I feel that someone is deeply fantasizing about you um, in a sexual way. Okay. Ooh, and okay, we got this in reverse. Stab in the back, heartbreak, pain. The uh, separation, deception, shocking attack. Tell me more. Paradise two, and then heartbroken. So stabbed in the back and heartbroken came in reverse. Okay, I know exactly. Okay, I know what's going on here, Aries. All right. Now this is a very specific story. We have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Ooh. Aries, a lot of you, I feel like this is a, a newer situation. That this is either unfolding now or it's about to unfold. I feel like whoever the person was who was like, you know, this is just going to be a strictly sexual connection. Um, they may have gone through something that was very painful or going through an ending. Um, with the stabbed in the back in reverse and the heartbreak in reverse, they're trying to get over something else. And so this was always supposed to just be a sexual thing, right? And then they get in your energy is the best way to say it. And they find looking happiness in paradise, okay? Or vice versa, okay? Cross watchers will be watching. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. It's bliss. It's happiness. It's it's something to take their mind or your mind off of whatever this heartbreak or pain was, okay? So someone is like, yes, right? Um, this is happening. <laughs> um, yeah, acceptance is a can can't See, what I'm getting with this acceptance card is that somebody is trying to control the narrative of the situation. They're not wanting the emotions to just flow, just to let this unfold naturally. They're trying to control the situation and be like, no, I just got out of something or I'm still healing. This is just sex and da da da. It's funny how people, you know, say those things and it never really, never really happens like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. What's going on with Aries and love this month? What is going on with Aries and love? Ooh, nine of Swords. Okay. So Nine of Swords here, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone here is stressing. They are like obsessing over this situation. I feel like they may be worried that either you're going to, someone's going to leave the situation. Let's see here. Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. This was just supposed to be a strictly sexual thing and somebody is all caught up now. Like they, all they think about is you sexually. They obsess over it. They think about it at night when you guys are not together. You know, it, it's a very strong energy. And it's almost like this person is worried they're either going to lose you, but they're not knowing how to express it. With the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, it's like being cut off to their emotions, maybe because they're wanting to protect themselves. Now, Aries, this just could be you as well. Let's see here. What is the challenge in love? Two of cups. 
a soulmate. The challenge is the soulmate card. That means somebody is in denial. Somebody is in denial that they're in love, that they found their person. Okay, you got soulmate that came out twice. Somebody is straight up in denial that they are in love with someone and it is stressing them out. Maybe they don't know how to talk to you or, you know, express themselves. All right, how does, what is, wow, I can't even get my words out, but the cards are sure coming out. The lovers. I feel like spirit is pushing you both or someone here to explore this. There's a real connection here. The lovers is the challenge, and this is what spirit wants you to focus on. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but there's a there's a soul connection here. And I feel like somebody's trying to play it off that this is just a sex thing. So Aries, if you've been dealing with someone and you feel the connection between you two, and they are just adamant that, you know, no, I can't do this right now. I can't have a relationship. This is just sex. They're lying. Okay. They're straight up lying. All right. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is in the past. Yeah, I forgot we have the honesty card in reverse. Ten of Pentacles is in the past. So they could have left a long-term relationship and they're nervous about getting into something else committed. They could have been in a situation, it could have been marriage or it could have just been a situation where they were living together, bank accounts were shared. It was just a life that was built with someone else. And now they're like, damn, I'm about to start this all over again. I don't, you know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Yeah. Six of swords. They just moved away from something. Could have been a divorce here. They just got out of something that was really bad. Okay. Ten of swords. And so they're afraid of taking a leap of faith here with you. That. <laughs> that this is why they're afraid Aries <laughs> look at this this is why they're afraid the devil all right um whew. first of all this is why they're afraid first of all they are afraid because someone here is obsessing right over you okay in a sexual way they can't stop thinking about you but you really have a hold on someone what is that song grandmother used to lift was listen to I just heard it in my head briefly um was it Smokey Robinson? This is way back, y'all. Okay. Um, you really got a hold on me? Like someone here, you have somebody in a chokehold. Okay. Like literally obsessing. Also, I'm getting is that this person could have left a situation where it was extremely toxic, right? It was very hard for them to get out of. And so that kind of still, they still feel connected to it or it still haunts them in some way. But I feel like, I want you all to myself energy with this devil card here. Yeah, I think they're nervous about jumping into this. Ooh, we have the tower here in the near future. So something unexpected is going to happen or take place. Um, we'll go back to that and clarify. Let's see, what's this tower energy? Five of wands. Tell me more about this. And the two of pentacles in reverse. So two of pentacles in reverse is somebody who has made a decision. Like the decision is clear. Five of wands. I feel like somebody is fighting it. And look at that. Ten of cups. Happily ever after. There could have been some drama in the past. But we know that. Actually, we know that. Tell me more. Ace of wands. Someone is really, ace of cups, really trying to fight this new beginning. They're really conflicted. I don't feel, especially because the two of pentacles came in reverse, I don't feel that it's a juggling type of thing. I just feel like they were really confused about whether or not they want to have this new beginning with you, with the ace of wands, possibly because they've had a tower moment and, you know, there was some sort of drama or conflict in the past. All right. Let's see here. What are you feeling about all this, Aries? Let's see here. Queen of Swords. So you the person that's closed off? You must be the person that's closed off Aries. Queen of Swords energy here. Maybe you've, yeah, you have a lot of healing feelings and emotions about this situation. You're trying to protect yourself. You're trying, you're the one. That's you. All right. So let's see here what's in your environment, Aries. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Maybe it's both of you. Damn. Ten of Swords here. There was some sort of painful ending. This might have been your ending as well. There was some sort of painful ending of a cycle here. A lot of betrayal energy, which we've seen that here up here. Heartbreak, 
deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So there's definitely some sort of, um, ooh, oh, I just heard PTSD. Somebody has PTSD. Somebody is like, that's what the nine of swords is, ten of swords is over here. And the devil, excuse me. Somebody has PTSD from whatever. Ooh, I got chills. Oh, man. Yeah, somebody has PTSD from a pre previous relationship. Like, real bad. Real bad. Because of, you know, the Ten of Swords talks about betrayal, but it's not just one time. It, like, somebody stabbed you in the back over and 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 over again. Like, it's like the energy, you kept giving somebody a chance and they kept doing it and kept doing it and kept lying and kept cheating and kept, you know what I'm saying? It's just, Ten of Swords is a very, very painful card when it's an ending. Um, and so, whoo, child, I just felt that energy. But um, yeah, somebody ha is, is, has PTSD from a previous relationship and that's why mm, 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 mm. they may be afraid it could be you Aries this could be somebody else but afraid to have a new beginning very closed off you have a wall up a guard up let's see here what are your inner emotions hopes and fears I saw the ten of wands high priestess you're afraid of secrets you're afraid of following your intuition your intuition may be telling you that you have a new beginning here but you're afraid of someone being dishonest or hiding things from you hold on guys this is my son's teacher oh it's a paper all right you're afraid of somebody here hiding um something or secrets Maybe somebody had a mistress of some sort for a very long time and you just went, you went under the radar and you found out, you were just like, oh my God, I can't believe how could they hide this for me so long? And so you have like PTSD from like someone hiding secrets from you. All right, let's see here what the outcome is. Eight of Pentacles. Well, that's a good thing. This means that there's somebody here is, is working on themselves, getting some sort of help, right? Um, this could be self-reflection as well, working on a connection. Could be somebody wanting to come work on one. So I just knew it. Seven of Wands here. You could have your guard up here from someone wanting to come work on a situation. <clears throat> Give us one more here for the outcome. And the two of swords. Wanting to block it out. Page of swords watching you. Okay. Let's clarify and see what's going on here. Definitely looks like a choice, too, with the lovers here. I got, like, really hot all of a sudden. So let's take a look at this Ten of Swords first and see what's going on in your environment. Who is this? I just heard two people. Two people, so that may resonate for somebody. So yeah, the lovers here could be a choice. Two people. All right, let's see what the Ten of Swords, King of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. Ooh, flipped in reverse. But the Eight of Wands. Let's pull one more. And the Strength card. Usually the Strength card is holding back. You know, but what I'm getting here with this could be a Leo um, or somebody who has Leo in their chart, somebody who's very much in their ego. What I'm getting is that somebody could be like really holding on, holding on to something. Eight of Wands here is a lot of messages coming in, very passionate messages, communication. The King of Wands is very passionate as well. But I'm getting here, this King of Wands here is very, like, I get what I want type of energy. But they could have been the one that betrayed you or hurt you really bad. Let's get one more card here. And the Hierophant. So it could have been with a, a relationship or a marriage. We got Taurus energy. All right. Let's see about the Nine of Swords. What are you in your head about? What is the situation? 
the sun. And we were like, there's two people, there's two people here. There it is. Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. There's two people. I thought the King of Swords was gonna come out over here, but it didn't. It didn't. I feel like one of these cards is just telling about like, you know, what you went through. Like you were dealing with somebody who's very narcissistic, very much in their ego, who did a lot to you, okay? In this month of November here, you may be meeting someone, right? The Knight of Cups is a very romantic card, right? They're coming in offering you love. The King of Swords is also very analytical. This person's very serious. They mean what they say, say what they mean. And I don't want to say serious in a mean way, but you can trust them, okay? It's kind of someone here who is honest they're coming in here to tell you the truth with the sun card here the sun the knight of cups and the king of swords <clears throat> excuse me with the nine of swords i feel like you may be nervous about having a good thing with someone i don't feel like this king of swords is coming in here the king of swords upright it's not really bad energy okay it's just someone here who very truthful they're coming in to speak their truth knight of cups as well feels like kind of balances out they're romantic as well. They mean it. The sun card here, very positive card. And I feel like you're in your head about this situation. Now, this person over here could have been married to this person, right? With the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords and it ended or it was just a very long-term commitment. It could even be energetically, right? You may have been speaking to this person, but, or you know that they're holding on to you in some way. Seven of Swords here is very dishonest type of energy. Give me one more here about this King of Swords. Yeah, see? King of Swords, very healing energy, temperance. This person's going to be patient with you. Temp th this could be the person here where it's like, you you both, what I'm getting, because you're, Aries, you're in the Queen of Swords. The person that you're dealing with is in the King of Swords. So you both could have gone through something that was really damaging to you both, okay? Um, and that's where it's at. Like, you both are kind of struggling to move to the next level or have a commitment there's a lot of strong emotions here for one another but i feel like it's because i said somebody has ptsd or you both do like you both have been through something very difficult doesn't help it when somebody else is trying to interfere as well look at that seven of swords is still at the bottom of the deck tell me about the tower six of pentacles someone's coming in with an offer Tell us about the tower. Eight of pentacles, see? And the outcome is the eight of pentacles and the two of swords. Now we have the eight of pentacles with the tower. This is what you're blocking off. There's someone here who's trying to come work in, work on something with you. Okay, and you could have already started dating someone else. What is this? Yeah, a nine of pentacles here. At the bottom of the deck, I'm not sure if it's reversed or upright. Okay. So you're single or you're dating. Tell me more about the tower. Ace of Wands, new beginning. You're dating someone. You already started something new, Aries, or you're about to. And, mm -hmm. all right. Tell us more about the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords at the bottom, at the end. Here, the outcome. Page of Pentacles, an apology. Someone wants to come talk to you. Five of Cups. Very sad, regretful, remorseful about something that they've done or could be losing you. Ten of Swords, it put you through. Mm, 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 mm. So I wonder here, who is it that wants you all to themselves? Is it this new person or is this past person? Tell us, give us some information. We've got the Hermit here. Let's clarify what you all to myself. Let's take a look. Mm. Yeah. Somebody really wants you all to themselves, okay? Mm, we already know who that is, right? This person who was not honest with you. They wanted you all to themselves. They wanted everybody all to themselves. Let's clarify what you all to myself. Seven of Wands now. I would be careful. Um, ooh, and then the King of Cups in reverse. I would be careful, Aries, if you know who this is, who this person is. I want you all to myself. 
Um, the direct message here, we got the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Cups in reverse. It's giving unhinged. What time is it? It's giving unhinged, really. King of Cups in reverse. Someone does not know how to control their emotions. Maybe has emotional outbursts, very unstable. They're a liar. They're dishonest on top of that. Seven of Wands here. You have to really stand your ground with this person, whoever this is. Okay. We have two people here. We have a King of Swords and we have a King of Wands. I feel like the King of Swords here is someone here who's going to be very honest with you, very truthful about what they've been through in the past. And, you know, I think they just want, they're going to also be patient with you as well. Definitely soulmate energy in here. Definitely. So, and King of Swords is completely different from this King of Wands, right? You've got the Keep an Open Mind card. Your, your type, what does it say? Let me see. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. This King of Swords is very different than what you've dated in the past. Um, now this other person, this King of Wands here, they're coming in hot. Okay. So be careful if you know who that is. Could even just be somebody wanting to come back around and just to see, just to test the waters. Let's see about the devil. Ooh, the devil. Okay. We got the queen of pentacles, queen of wands, and the five of pentacles. May have ghosted you for someone else as well. Queen of pentacles kept trying to show out. Kept trying to show out. All right. Tell us about the devil. Seven of pentacles. Three of swords. This person went and invested in a third party situation and now they want you back. Isn't that some shit? Queen of Wands. The devil, the seven of pentacles, the three of swords, and the queen of wands. They went and invested in a third party situation and now they want you back. They want you back now that somebody is serious is coming in towards you. Now somebody here is coming in who they see makes you very happy. The sun here, the knight of cups, very romantic. But they're not going to play about you. Whoever this king of swords is, male or female, they're coming in and they're not playing about you or the relationship. This other person here, like, then played with you up and all and down Bourbon Street, okay? <laughs> and now they're wanting to come back. Two of swords at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, spirits, like, block that and stand on it. Aries with the emperor here at the bottom of the deck. Stand on it. All right. Okay, so I think that's enough here. Let's see. Let's pull some from the hidden truth. I'm gonna close out three. All right, give us some messages here from the hidden truth. We have I look for you everywhere. I feel you leaving me behind. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So I'm going to say this is like two separate messages. I have, I want you, and it was my fault. I blamed you. Okay. Um, intuitively, Aries, for the Aries who are still in limbo, I just want to tell you to not keep, don't keep this new person here. They may not have come in yet, but when they do come in, don't keep them waiting. Okay. Don't keep them waiting for someone who wasted your time. All right. So, the thing is, make sure that you're completely done with this, whoever this other person is who hurt you, so you don't continue a pattern, right? Hurt people, hurt people. You have someone here who's coming in who's going to be very serious with you, very honest with you, very compassionate. Um, they seem in a very positive energy, like they're healing or have healed from something. Don't play with that person, okay? Because you're going to continue the cycle of pain right? You're done with one, you move on to the next, or you tell the new person, hey, I'm still dealing with someone, all right? Now, there's no judgment, but I don't know why you would want to go back to that person who did that. But with the devil card here, the lovers, there is some sort of strong soul tie connection. But make sure you don't play with this, this king of swords, whoever that is. You may not know them yet. They could be coming in from now, December time frame. But yeah, okay? So that's what I have for you. Take care, Aries.